Baba Booey, here we are. Oh, I've changed the mic, the camera position, so I don't know how this is gonna look. You have to bear with. If it looks bad, well, shit. Hey. <laughs> Welcome in, Neff. I didn't like that. Whenever I was streaming, it looked like I was looking really far away. <laughs> so I'm moving the camera again. And we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Alright, we're going to play some Deus Ex. 
We're gonna be stealthy as fuck. We ain't, but we can try. Do that. Oh yeah, shit, I need to set up so that it only captures the game because it doesn't pick up full screen. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to readjust it. That's fine. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Cool. Ugh. I had to take some headache tablets because I have a headache. And I'm hot, but I've just not really used my fan in the last little bit of time. So But I've got my fan on now. It feels it feels good. It feels good. Alright. So carry on. We were doing the thing. The did I give you a headache? No. Work gave me a headache. No, I think it was just the heat. My hay fever's been playing up the last couple of days. But the, the days before it, no headaches. It's just like, just like, I haven't really felt like the hay fever hit me recently. And then the last two days, it's just been like nonstop. It shit. But, you know, not really much I could do about it. All right. Time for more cyborgs. Yes. So also, just a heads up, I have given the RPG thing a massive overhaul. I have to sort out the game audio. So give us a well, moment. Welcome in, Rubes. You know. Whoops. But yeah, RPG has got a massive overhaul, so it looks quite a bit different now. Um... Respin and the choose the wheels up. So, yeah. No post office to return a shout. I'll see if I can join Mobily. Okay. Did someone clip that. Welcome in, Lobby. Uh, no, it wasn't that funny. I see. I was giddy as all hell earlier and thought I might have been too much. No. Nah. I don't think anyone's ever been too much for me to, like, just chill out with. But yeah, I've changed up the color system. I added a new column so you actually can tell on the list what's on the wheel. Because I realize unless I bring up the wheel, neither of you know what's on the wheel. You just know what's on the list. So I added a whole new column so you can see what's actually on the wheel. And yeah, and we have a new command. So you could do exclamation mark next. And if it works, it should tell you the next game we're playing. Because I'd literally set it up just as stream was starting. So I'm hoping it works. But I didn't test it. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Advanced hacking. Wait. Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All, All right. you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Oh. I thought it's going to be a lot more descriptive than that, but okay. Uh, okay. Nothing interesting or of use. Nuke virus software. A worm attack thing to help me hack all the things. Hack it, maybe. Booty were okay. Access granted. Booyah. Uh none connected. Restricted. Excuse me, what do you mean restricted? What 
wasn't that the whole point of me hacking this computer was to stop the robot and shit? What was the point of hacking this? <laughs> but literally the whole reason was so that I could do it. I was so good. What? <laughs> I mean, I've already hacked it. I can't rehack it, but like. What? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is on my school stuff. I've got one point. Hacking stealth. Fortify. Analyze. Capture. Stealth enhancer. Can't increase my health. Sprint faster, walk silently. Ooh. Mm. See through walls. I need two points regardless, so I'm not going to be able to get anything. I just got to shoot this out then. Right? Because I can't do anything else. Um, I've only got concussion grenades. I thought I picked up a grenade. Oh, I did. No, oh, I meant to use the gra I just equipped a grenade! There we go. I don't know what the flash was, but I done what I wanted. So... Yep. Mission accomplished. So over here. This is going to take me back before the bit, isn't it? And I'm going to be like, I could have just sneaked around. I could have sneaked. But yeah, how is everyone today? How to choose in violence? No. I wanted to be stealthy, but the game fucked me over. So we improvised. Oh, shit. I thought I would equip it, not use it straight away. So, there's me drunk, apparently. And this feels absolutely awful. Okay. I think we're okay, for the most part. Found another bo a bottle of Prof Peppy, so I'm pretty happy right now. That's good. That's good. Step away from the console now. Help me. Ah, if you were just a few seconds late. Richard, you still there? This is what happens when you jack in. Just remember that, everyone. Now. My chair's gone straight down already. Ugh. I hate this fucking chair. But I'm also not willing to spend money on a new one. <laughs> Adam, it's David. You got the typhoon? Yeah. But you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch them. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby trapped. Take that, Ben. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWATs pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. This way. 
This way. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, what's this telling me? Oh, yeah. Well, it sounds like the SWAT team is coming. Yeah, I'm officially now off work. I have a whole week of freedom. So just remember, streams are going to be earlier and longer. This kind of worked, but I also was blinded at the same time. I think I've been spotted. I read this. I'll get into my computer's on the office floor. Log in. Oh, got some login details. And another one. Nice. And another one. Yeah, let's get all the logins. We're going to hack everything. Well, we won't need to hack if we've got the password, but you know what I mean. For the most part, we should be good. Make sure they're not dropping the thing. Well, for me, I've been missing those early parts. It'd be fine. We'll be streaming plenty. Although, as far as I'm aware, not this Saturday coming, but the next Saturday I won't be streaming because I'll be going out. Unless stuff changes. Another password? Me in room two. I'm not going to take revolver ammo because we don't have a revolver. New movie isn't next Saturday either then? Yeah, it's only like uh, plans during the day. I'll be back in the evening. I just might be here for stream. Got beers. There's so many tranquilizer stuff. It's like they really want you to be stealthy. Nothing. Yeah. Not gonna go in there. Oh, yeah. Red wings. Oops. Um, not allowed. Oh, okay, it's just like a couple of emails. Nothing specific. I haven't got the code for Parker. Just give that a minute because I might be able to find that somewhere. Clark, I don't have one either. Talon. Oops. 
Uh, oh, I watched the like a uh, film yesterday, and I gotta be honest, I'm not sure if I liked it or not. <laughs> Hmm. It was on Netflix. I can't I can't remember the name of it. If I'm gonna be honest, I think it's like this is how it ends or something. I purely watched it because I was bored. I wanted something to watch, and I was like, "Let's watch a, an apocalypse movie." And it wasn't very apocalyptic for an apocalyptic movie. But then I always figure apocalypse films are like the whole world is ending. But in this, it was just a part of America. And I was like, all right. All right. I should want to see if there's any new codes. Yeah. Click on that one. Click on that. I don't think there's another key card, so we might just have to hack these, which ain't too bad, so it gave me some XP. So yes, let's hack, baby. Hack, right, what one do I want? If I do that one, 60%. Mm -hmm. Detection is 100%. Eighty percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Access granted. There we go. Um, typhoon thing. Okay. Got nothing special. Was this one a hacky one as well? I think this one was a hacky one. Yeah. I actually quite like the hacking in this. I used to have a lot of fun playing this one. Alright. 60%. 60. 60. Well, might as well. Access granted. Booyah! <laughs> Nothing interesting in that one either. Alright, I've used that one. I haven't used this one, okay. I've got to remember it does actually come up on it and says, like, if you've used it or not, so I should be able to tell which one I haven't done. Zero percent. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, alright. Alright, which one of these needed hacking as well? That one's used. That one hasn't. That one has. That one hasn't. Alright. If I do this, I can get a bunch of XP as well. Next one. 
But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the movies tomorrow night. I'm kind of looking forward to watching Evil Dead. And Evil Dead Rise. Oh shit! Access granted. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're. I think we've had all of them. Yeah. That way. Book. Don't lie to me. Oh, I should probably should have saved. <laughs> You're a civilian, but I will if We've got to talk him down. You didn't want to hurt anyone. You should have stayed home tonight. Oh look, Seraph's attack dog. You're here to clean up before the police bust in. He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hatter. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear me? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So me and La Vieja, we're leaving. Um. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser. I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only chicken out here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing mm. until you let her go. I love how I toss Spanish in there. Yeah. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Hmm. Humble. Reason. Emphasize. Hmm. You got a lot of Let's do humble. insulting me, considering your success rate today. You were played for a fool. You led your people into a trap, and now you're on the verge of getting yourself killed. Unless you let her go. Did I ask for your opinion just now? I can't listen to you. You're as bad as the cops. They plan on shooting me the minute I walk out that door. I got nothing. I'm screwed. Hmm. Emphasize. The only thing the cops are focused on right now yeah. is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. You're right. I'm not. You know what? We're done talking. The puto who tricked my brother thought he had his feet. But we are so much tougher than he can be. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, oh. they're gonna see the angel of vengeance in action, baby. Uh. Saying this his whole family stupid, probably not the best one. 
Hmm. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage. See if this happens or this helps, I don't know. You're right. Damn. You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to hear, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Oh wait, I still couldn't shoot him? Fuck, that was my plan. <laughs> I was hoping to pop him in the head once he let the hostage go. I'm pretty sure he's just a few. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Kill. I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Hydra. You are love. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? <laughs> My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs. And I overheard talk about a bomb. Oh, I accidentally triggered that and oh, stopped it. God. When those men surprised us, Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect. Oh, shit, I need to text mom, actually. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. Lovely. Cool. Well, we saved the hostages. Look at us go. I got two points. I can get any two upgrade thing. Ooh. Saved? Yes. The hostages are saved. Make demands. I'm not the one who have them hostage. I'm the savior. Actually. Do that and then my inventory is bigger as well. Nice, I'll take it. Sorry, Mr. Thorpe, but the target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. But my wife, my wife, is she all right? She's fine. I saved her. She's shaken up though. Swab will need to debrief her, but you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I think I've given up on her. Bless you. You're a true hero, <laughs> man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Okay. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? You I mean, about? they're all saying this, Before but I had fired. planned to shot the terrorist Just in the, the head. But it didn't let me. <laughs> but you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. 
Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Ready. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is by command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? I'm more cyborg than man. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? Um, grudging the camera handy. Mm, callous, intrigued. You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented, and I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good, surprisingly good. Doctor Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Yeah. Just be careful, okay? My denim shorts. A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't pay you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. That'd yeah. make jobs so much easier if you could get a, did this to me. an enhancement to you make you do that You're job better. <laughs> I'm the best at fly because I have paid way, to become the best at fly. <laughs> uh, ask about the first attack. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Hmm. The max. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. Detroit? That, all I really know is the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. Hmm, Malik's account. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. The motive. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. I have so to say, I am really surprised there's no mod to sort the HUD out in this game. Megan's research. Sure looks that way. It's not too Mr. bad, but you think it would be a little bit bigger. Months, if you can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now. You've gotta get the typhoon into the tech lab. Right. See you later then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face to face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. He'll get it when I Can tell I him. You can wait otherwise. I'm a busy man.
Richard, I'm back. Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Richard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy. I guess only the really popular well, games get modded like that. Maybe. Maybe. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. I don't like this bloke. I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. All right, then. I don't remember how you find side quests in this game. I think they might just get given to you, but I might not be remembering it right. Hmm. How is the webcam position looking today, by the way? I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand. So fabulous. Thank you, Rubes. Started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look at Don't think he's hiding anything either. Yeah, me? it's more about positioning. When it was here, Always with the whenever I was playing the game, it looked like I was looking all the way over to the right, which was annoying me. So I figured if I put it here, then it looks like I'm actually looking at the webcam when I'm playing the game. I think. I don't know. I can't. I can't look and then see because you know. I see what. You see me. I see it at the same time. So. Yeah. How you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him with Doctor Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. You insist? Listen, about Sanders. Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. Take charge. I should know, redirects. He talks about the mastermind, it's not him. And I did. The typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. He's not the mastermind behind this boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? Yeah, he had cable. Myself. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got well, cables coming out of his head. Not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends Maybe. Depends I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hop <coughs> might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? No. Okay. Mm. As a matter of fact, I do. Look at him. You know the police never fully investigated that first attack, don't you? Yes, but... But nothing. We lost a lot of good people, top people. And I'm beginning to think Detroit PD doesn't give a damn. Someone is pulling strings to keep us in the dark. And mm, you know, it's just a means. My world is your world, Adam. And if getting that neural hub illegally will show us who's behind these attacks, and maybe even help us go after them, yeah, you're damn right it does. So get going. Okay. Keep your knickers in the twist. Fucking hell.
That's a weird looking face. Okay. Right. Is that where I've seen what the missions currently are, or...? Ah, yes, okay, cool. Alright. We have to go to the office. His password's Mandrake? Alright. Um, I remember what I said at the time today, you saved my life more, you probably know what I thought, please don't put, uh, oh, okay. Damn, you need to focus on me, but I think I've got enough suspect in the near prison fest, okay. Wait, wait, hang on a minute. I think another suspect knows Neuroprosm first. I caught Dan Denzel Mitchell going over in my stack in Versa Life purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for a contract. David wanted to look over, but he already had it. Uh, door code. Office 23. Hey Jensen, glad to see ya. Damn it, now I sound like his girlfriend or something. Hey Jensen! What do you want, Tim? To see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. Why does he look a little bit like William For Defoe? While, we thought you were a goner <laughs> too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I, uh, I fucked up. What's I'm news, man? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just, it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Hmm. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Well, I was reason would you want it? How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Aug or something to crack him. Casey? Social Enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Oh, okay. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, never thought I'd have to buy your help. 
What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire... Okay. All right, accept. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will... I got it from okay. here. Okay. Right. He wants me to meet him at the thing. Right. We've got multiple side, side quests. So have we technically done number one? Because why have we got two and three? <laughs> got two and three, but not number one. Oh, yeah. That is it. Okay, cool. All right. Save game. Yes. Right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go feed the kitty cat.
No, I nearly got you, you bastard. Oh my god, what have you caught? Super... I caught a sea penis! <laughs> Fuck it, it James! It's, it's the thing that if you stroke it, it like the it, self-defense is shooting out the white stuff. You're not helping your case, Panda. You're no, shouting, I it. caught a sea penis! That is literally the thing that- Oh, sea penis. Hell yeah. How much you get more DLC? Yeah, you get a play in uh, Bikini Bottom. Which would be kind of interesting. We still got to uh, do the other stuff first. Yeah. Right, now we get to explore the outdoors. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. I did message mum just before she finished work. I was like, can you get me some orange juice? And she sent me a message back saying, okay. Oh, so Adam, I'm sorry. I may have some orange Please. juice soon. Please call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no. Oh yeah, like going on about the like, the RPG list. I forgot I added I Watchdogs to to, to the wheel. It was never on the list. After all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Um, they did what they had to do. Be optimistic. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. Oh, yeah. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is. Wait, she's treating her like she's dead. She was just kidnapped, wasn't she? She wasn't killed. I see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why okay. does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Okay, so now we got three side quests, two main missions. Right. <clears throat> you believe it? We have to put 
Is there a map button? There is. This really is a tough process just to scroll across the bloody map. Okay. Uh, I'll put that one as active. But yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, probably going to the limb clinic would probably be the easiest one to start with, but yeah. Hello? Anything you want to buy or sell, I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Okay. Sell that. Right. Damn it, Rubes! Oh. 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 The pepperoni nips. What's up with your hair? It's so weird. <laughs> he's got such a weird hair, he's got pepperoni nipples. There you go. Yep. <laughs> um. See you soon. Alright, mate. Your face is so shiny. It's funny. Um, right. Oh. And I put for another flashback. <laughs> we don't need flashbacks. It's fine. It's fine. I for one approve of these protests. These limb people Let's go to the limb clinic. As I somehow got here before anything else. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well... Mr. Sarah did ask me to discuss another topic with you. Okay. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Sarah want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean yeah. I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Sarah did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring okay, oops. that Praxis soft. Yeah, sorry. 
5,000? I could buy both of these, actually. Wait a minute, she just said to make sure that there was stuff here available to me, yet that she's charging me for it. How the fuck does that work? Very well, Mr. Jensen. You if he made a generous donation, then why the fuck am I paying for this shit? I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? More or less. I know it sounds a little hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Okay. I don't see anything that I can steal. They left their computer open. All right, well, I've got two point two practice kits, which means I've got enough for probably like oh, I've got three actually. I've got to level up. Um, so I kind of want to do the analyze and persuade one. Mm -hmm. Seeing enemies through the wall would be pretty good. Yeah, we'll get that one. So we can talk to people. Where's the hack? Oh, it's that one. Yeah. Do that so we can hack. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, I see. They're through that way. I should do that. Rather than analyze and do the persuasion. I'll do it for the security so I can start hacking everything that's high levels. It gets done through your IP. Ebook. Protesting is not against the law. I know that. Right, cool. So that's that quest done. So now I want to go do the side quest, but in all honesty, I'm not sure how I get there. There's a thing against that, so I maybe I'm gonna have to go around. Right up there, I think. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Oh shit. Access no, it's so close. Oh, right, one more attempt. I've got to wait that long. I don't even know where this goes. I might have to save the game just in case I fuck this up. Maybe I'll use the uh, the thing that I've got to stop time. Not stop time, sorry. Um, 
What have I got? Hack without being known. <laughs> right, where am I? What is this place? <laughs> There's a bit of reason for needing to come in here, surely. There's no window there! Ah. Hi, peoples. Hack it, baby. No, the spam triggered it. Access granted. Hmm. Okay. No, 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 no. What level is this? Oh, it's number one, okay. Right, that's a 50% chance. What's this one? 30. I'll grab that one. Right. This was a decent hacking mini game? It is, yeah. I like it. 50%? Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you bastard. Got it. I like how the fridges, you don't actually use the fridge. You just lift it and throw it. <laughs> That's the only reason for the fridge in these games. So, yeah, I'm just going to check his bathroom as well. Can't even open cupboards or anything. Uh, new security gate has been zero 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 two. Yeah, conversation. Okay, cool. I see you, bro. What do I do? There you go. You pricked the hurt. <laughs> that hurt a lot. God damn. Don't take shotguns to the chest. Do not recommend. Person dead? No, he's, he's alive. Alright. 
Where am I? I am here. this oh I can't move that bin I also can't jump up this ledge <laughs> There you go. I still can't do it because this is too heavy. Okay. I mean, it's got wheels, but, you know. What's this? Whoops. Yeah, no, I, I kind of fucked up that one, Chief. <laughs> I think there's a way to make them stronger, though. No, it's in this game as well. I just don't have the points for it. I've put everything into inventory and hacking. But yeah, it's under this one. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I only need one. Oh, no. I need that one. Sorry, yeah. I see, yeah, I really only need one point. I also do want to get the punch through the wall, because I remember the punching through the wall was also pretty fun. I can't remember potentially how many levels you can get in this. Alright. So it has to be that one. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's a stun gun and things. I don't want that. I'll take it, but I'm going to sell them. Probably. Um, right. So, it's this way, I think. Yes, yeah, I'm going to have to go all the way back around to there now. Actually, I don't know. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm kind of lost. Right, so start straight over there. So where I'm facing. Oh, yeah, it's in the same vicinity as the Tinder one. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have to run all the way back around there and I've kind of screwed myself over a little bit. It's fine. I have orange juice. Mm. I haven't had orange juice in a while, so this is nice and refreshing. I don't really remember too much about the second game of this, to be quite honest. Not to say that I remember everything about the first one, but, you know, just in the sense of... 
I remember this one leaving a bit more of an impact than the second game. Mankind Divided, yeah. From what I remember, though, it was still good. I just don't really remember much about it. Really trying to get as many people on that one. Yeah. I can't remember if, like, your choices in this game impacted the choices in that game. It says it's there. That can't be right. Hang on a minute. Oh, I see it. Oh, there's two quests here. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Right, where is his one? Hello. I can never thank you enough. For what you did. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in, well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. I may remember to charge my camera tonight. So I've not charged it. And if I want to use it tomorrow, I'm going to need to. These showers aren't very futuristic, are they? For a game where they're literally enhancing humans, they've not really enhanced much to anything else. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I oh, know, I'm, I'm so shiny. <laughs> She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high profile case. I mean, that's one way to describe it. said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this, this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. All right. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Okay. Find out what he knows. Okay, 
I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His okay. office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this <laughs> case, the better I'll feel. Okay. I'm just going to leave him to it then. That's all I need for now. I get the rest done. So basically, I just need to go to the police station. Is literally the gist of the of this quest. Um, oh, and look, the bloke's right here. For this other one. Perfect. Jensen? What are you doing here? Hello, I Tyndall. Know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraf Industries Chief of Security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. Uh, he's a bad Sometimes guy. You have Duh. To get hands <laughs> oh, there's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine. I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. You're you saying this to the wrong person. And then what? <laughs> You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. <laughs> you take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Ugh, fine. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball. <laughs> what names? <laughs> what Just names? Sure they never bother me again. Deal. Deal. All right, then we've got more quests. All right. How are we going to deal with these people then, huh? I really want to say everyone in this game augmented beans. A lot of them are, but not all of them. Like, we are, but not by choice. Like, we got attacked, and the only way they could save us was to augment us, and now we have to sort of deal with the repercussions for it. And there's people that are against augmentation. Um, so, obviously, those are a thing. But, yeah. So, it's not everyone, but there are a lot of them. 
but also a lot of people don't uh it doesn't take so they also end up getting into some shit really shit Like the the people that invaded the people that I was against in the beginning of the like the last mission that we were doing, it was like a group of people that think augmentation is bad and they're not they're not there for it. They're not happy with it, so they're trying to find incriminating details on the company to be like this is bad. Access denied. Access denied? Fuck off, I've done that. Ugh. Oh, it's still their candy bar. How they like me now? Is there really nothing else in here? I mean, a credit chip, 43 credits on it. Big whoop. All right, let's actually just focus on hacking the main thing. Access granted. Yeah. That's really the only reason to come in here, you know? Note to self, bins hurt people when you throw it at them. <laughs> mm. I'm going to have to redo that computer thing again. Oh, yeah, I am. That's fine. I'll, I'll do it because I want to get the, I guess, I wanna get the XP. Right, what was in it? There's a credit card chip thing, Majiga. Uh, there's a snack bar in here that I want. Yeah. Let's pack this bad boy. Oh my god, that went up. I was 10% away! Stupid hacking system. Oh, 
But oh, damn it. I'll try again in a minute. Right. Can it not capture me on the first go? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, maybe actually. Oh, yeah, fine. Cool. All just to get 25 XP. Right. I, I mean, I, I actually I do have this the stun gun. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have to do those hackings again. You know what, fuck it, I can, no, I'm not doing the hacking. It's not as much XP as I would want. It's a waste. How is it not an appropriate way down? Game. I'm gonna see if I can talk to them. Look at you, man. Another like sucker who Sanchez bought a bunch right of crap you never really needed. You report on people voluntarily amputating themselves and getting augmented. What a bunch of freaks! Oh! Just like that. Just like that. Oh, I can't hack it. Oh, no. I got one point. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like I should actually save it because I think I might need a damage reduction because I took damage so fucking hard. So, um, uh, yeah. No, I had... Why? What did I do? But they don't even know that I killed someone. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they don't know that I killed people. I'd even kill them, actually. I knocked them out. The hell? Discriminatory. They just saw a cop and they're like, I'm going to kill them. Not on. Just got to fucking whip out my gun and then kill him. Yeah, not getting a bounce on me this time. Oh god, there's more! No. Wrong game. Okay, I think we're good.
Look, I told you. It... I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. Wow, how dare you? I'm a great really person. In the game. Awesome. In the game. Okay. Is there really not a way of getting around here? Oh my god, there is. I've been running around this whole time thinking there wasn't an, an easier way. Wow, I'm an idiot. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got it, William Defoe. Calm down. I got the footage. <laughs> you owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Here, there's the weapon mod, as promised. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time, you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. <coughs> Lesser evils. Picked up laser targeting system. I don't really remember much about... the game. Like... Are these weapons that I use throughout the whole game? Because if so, then I, I'll use it on a certain thing. But another part of me is like, I don't know if this is going to fuck things up. In all honesty, but I guess we'll see, won't we? A return with cinnamon apples. All right, then. Different. Alright, so next stuff is the main story stuff. You know, I make fun of you for having food with weird names like Toad Hole. Yeah. And we have something called Shit on a Shingle. Alright then. Okay. I mean, it's different. I have a plan. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back over, though. But, here we go. Oh, yeah, I can't move this, can I? Ow. Oh. I could if I use that one point, but I don't want to waste a point. There's got to be another way around. Never. Shit, I think that's literally the only way over, you know? For some food in these centers, have fun. No worries, rooms. Take care, enjoy yourselves. Fuck it, I'm gonna have to use a point, and I. I still can't climb over. What the hell? Do I need better legs? I think I need better legs. Fuck now. All right, wait a minute then. 
Or if I load this, buy new legs, then maybe I don't need the strength. Sorry, here, I know. Sometimes you just need better things. I'll be. Oh, I need two to buy that. <sighs> Go do the other bits. I was born with amazing cars. All right, I'm going to mine upgraded legs. This should be pretty good. Should see me in yoga pants. I'm going to take a hard pass on that. <laughs> going to take a hard pass on that. But, yo but yoga pants do bring out the curves for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hang on just a sec. Shit, Jensen. You can never jump over fences and walls. Mm. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. Oh, shit. <laughs> You get off being so self-righteous. You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team. Yeah, we are going hard. I'm not even choosing the crazy. options. I, <laughs> I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it because you came to me. Crush. Let's do absolve. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. Then this won't change things. Fair. Why are you doing this? Putting me between a rock and a hard place again. You want me to sacrifice my job to save your boss's ass? And if I lose my job, my life goes into the toilet. But you don't even care about that, do you? Not really, no. Don't put us anywhere else. You're stuck here because you feel guilty about what you did. Got my boy uh, hmm. Don't put this on anyone else. We both know the real reason you're stuck here is that you feel guilty about what you did. And until you face up to that, this is where you're going to stay. Whoa. That's harsh. Everything goes back to that day. I shot a kid. But he was dead before I did that. He chose to make himself a weapon, and he could have gone through us like tissue paper with those augments of his. That's why you ran off. You just couldn't take that. Hmm. He was 15, Haas. In what world can you justify putting a bullet between the eyes of a 15-year-old boy? I... I don't know. What happened wasn't my fault. You pulled you the trigger. Command, but when they told you to take the, the facial expressions in this are so good. So they told me, <laughs> you and I, we were trained to follow orders, Jensen. I couldn't say no. I wasn't strong enough. Adam, please. I need to hear you say it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I mean, you pulled the trigger. Kind of your fault. <laughs> Crush. I've heard enough of this. You're <laughs> lying to yourself. You pulled that trigger, no one else. You can't escape from that for the rest of your life. Accept it, make it a part of your history, and put it in your past. Because denial is only making it worse. I can't. I... Oh, hell. You're right. I've been so stupid. Woo! <laughs> Two whole years. I've got to start turning things around right now. Go on in. Don't worry about the guys. They'll leave you alone. But I need to think. I like your tie, though. I can't promise anything. Not right now. Some... Jansen, right? I don't know. Yes, my name is Johnson. All right, we're in, baby. Oh, 
time to hack the PC, please. Alright, let's go. Uh... Access granted. On your computer. All right, where is the objective? All the way over there, shit. Oh shit, they're alarmed because I hacked the computer. That makes sense. Hi. Alright, well this is why I saved the game. <laughs> this is why we saved. Pinky! Hi. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Hack it, baby. God, we're doing it and we're not even getting other stuff. Access granted. Oh, I've got a stop arm. Lovely. I'm gonna save again because I didn't realize by fucking up a hack on the com on the police's computers, it means that they start looking for me and shoot me. So, yeah. Cassie, hello. Five percent. All right. Okay. 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 Hmm. Hmm. I gotcha. Access granted. Haha, <laughs> my computer now. Uh, office code. Yeah. Game reports. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Yeah, welcome in. How was the rest of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, 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 yes. Welcome in, calibrations. There you go. Babushka. Okay. I made this clip. It is cute. I remember this. Okay, contestant number one. Oh goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm from I'm your friend. I'm a friend, not food. Yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> oh, shit, I've got some notifications popping off. Popping off. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We in Costa Rica, Harry Bear supplying it. Make turtle soup. Turtle soup. Right. Oh. Get rid of Discord. I don't need that up at the moment. But yeah, welcome in. As some of you may know, my name is Panda. I play lots of different games. Currently. Bacon. Oh, please tell me that wasn't the one that I just found. Uh, we're currently playing through Deus Ex Human Revolution. And we're trying to investigate a body that we killed 
and the police are trying to cover it up. Alright. Well, we think they're trying to cover it up. Pretty sure they are. Hmm. I might get in trouble for doing this. Back up or else. Last warning. Move back now. Access granted. God, God damn, it's like the police don't want their stuff hacked. Ugh. Fine. Son of a bitch. I know, right? I'm just doing my duly duty of hacking your stuff. Getting in my business. Hi, guys. Pocket security. Hmm. Grab all of these. Um, so, I guess it kind of makes sense that I can't hack stuff in broad daylight in front of people. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> pee dick. I thought I found a password card, but... I don't know whose it was. I know some of the stuff is upstairs, I believe. I don't think there's a way to the back in here either. The morgue is downstairs. Right, so that's sort of the way that we kind of want to go. Because we're supposed to be going to the morgue. But I want to get the other side stuff done first. Talking to an artist, mate. I may get a VTuber. Is yours technically not considered that anyway? Because don't you, like, have the bird with the mouth that moves when you talk? I suppose I'm getting a fancy one. Ah. That far enough. This is a restricted area. Okay, because I, I can go straight down then. Oh no! I may have fucked this up. I got too greedy.
Access granted. What would happen if you had cinnamon apples? I mean, is it just an, an, an apple with cinnamon on it? Unload my previous save. That the alarm off is kind of fucked now. Oh shit. I saw the cinnamon apples all over myself. Makes sense. But yeah, what is this? What is the cinnamon apple, Obby? Now that's just annoying. Access granted. I didn't want to use that. Apples goes in baked and bar. Oh no, I wouldn't like that. I don't like fruit. <clears throat> anyway, my inventory system is pretty full. Where's this go? We're going to stay here until I get some answers, kid. We're talking about some serious fucking crime. What are you talking about, man? My brother's Um, if I just walk out of this place, do you think they're gonna notice? Uh <laughs> Okay. 
Weird that they didn't suspect the fact that I came outside of a, a vent weird. You know? Vent in there. Did judo chop him right in the throat? And he wouldn't even know. Oh my lord, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, give him a bit. <laughs> Let me see. What the hell is this hacking? All right, okay. All right, uh... Oh my lord. We're okay. Access granted. I just could do as many as I would have liked. Yeah. Right, so now I have enough information, I should be able to go down and do the other bit. I don't know whenever that bloke will wake up and tell us off for punching him in the face. They bloody got what was coming. Sucked him right in the, right in the mouth. Hello? Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that Prime kind of boy. The hell? I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want a blow job in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh? Metalhead? Made an omelet? Oh. I know you handled oh. critical evidence linked <laughs> to the case. And I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I haven't had omelette in such a long time. I suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... I know Sorry. everything. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked. Harry Potter pizza, that's not I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay. Listen. I saw a really nice looking dessert pizza earlier. One morning and there There's was like a white chocolate with base with Kinder assignment. Buenos all over it. Official business. Mm. But there were also specific instructions. I had to... Check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And Nobody ask questions. You just Hang on a minute. Sorry. I need to look at the wanted, the missing poster behind him. Because they are drawn incredible. <laughs> what are these faces? <laughs> it's the smile on this one to the left. And the kid's one on the right. <laughs> oh, no wonder they're missing. No one wants to find them. <laughs> Oh dear. Looks <laughs> like Michael Jackson. <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. 
All right. Let's get better legs. There you go. I can now jump pretty high, so. Let's go see if I can do that thing outside. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did you want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Hack the system. Three attempts. Access granted. I don't actually know if I needed that or not, but I've I've done it just in case. Alright, that's that. These descriptions they'll never be found, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Alright, didn't he talk to me about going to see someone or something? Now I've got to go hand that back in to someone, but I'll do that after. We can now do this now. I wasn't sure if upgrading the legs was going to be enough or not, but it was, thankfully, so. Nice. Right. We gotta go to the morgue. All the media speculation surrounding that hospital. I'm not gonna get in trouble, right? He said I was allowed down here. Okay. Oh no. That combat rifle is getting pretty juicy now. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultra Don't use wet drives. Violent. And Use I know how dry drives. Guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Okay. All right. Well, before I do that, what that hyper stim? Is there anything else in here that I would like to steal?
don't know. If I hack the computer while stood behind him and he's technically not looking at us, does it count? Well, he doesn't care. All right. Nice seeing your emails anyway. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Sounds like a plan. We'll fuck up my own home computer rather than the work one. Let's go. Hey, how's Coda, Pinky? I don't feel like I've asked that in a while. Just need to go home now, apparently. Coda, yeah, how's Coda? Yeah, it sleeps a lot. All that. That says that moment doing cat stuff. Cat stuff. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Uh... Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. Right, Matt. Uh, I have a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my God, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No. 
I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very good. Oh, man, I could have sold that for a good amount of money. Her grandmother <laughs> gave it to her. Oh, wow. Well. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? Wait, she did die? I thought she was just kidnapped. I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me. She will. Yes. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Can I, can I, can I borrow this horse? I think if I shout out Obby as well, it should do Obby's art. I don't know, it's as a cool down on there. God damn it! Oh, shit! Freaking horse, are Robbie's you dumb? Are we talking get about out. the woman who got taken Come on, again? come on, come yeah, on, come on. Oh kidnapped. my god, there's no, there's no, 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 no. Ah! I hate this. Okay, this is like a super small horse, but anyways, I need you. I need you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's fast. Oh, damn. This horse is faster than Bobby John. Both. Both, I think. I'm still not sure I'm cut out for all this. But at the same time, I feel like I I'd kind of like to be. Does that make any sense? That's perfectly understandable, given what's transpired tonight. Mila, you're a member of the crew now. Okay. Now he's taking us to their treasure room. Okay, he's asking where we got the coin. Oh my god! Oh! It's gonna play two! I'm fine! Alright. There you go. We got two Obby ones. Hey, we got a new pr another skill point. <coughs> It's tempting. I think I'm gonna save up and get the damage, uh, the damage buff one there. Why did it still highlight for you to access like a draw when you've already got everything out of the draw? You know. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard. Not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. 
It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. Oh. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Whoa. Uh. What was yeah. that access code Let's added? Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent yeah. transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Where's the hidey hole? Oh. Uh, right, I need to get rid of the shotguns. I don't want that shotgun anymore. Um, Right, we need to pop out a shop so I can sell shit because my inventory is full. I could buy the next inventory slot thing, but I kind of don't want it right now. I want to keep my points until we get to the next, like, I want to start unlocking more, for, more stuff on my body. <clears throat> Damage reduction would be pretty good to get. Um, I would also maybe like the eye one to track threats through walls, maybe, or the multiple takedown would be pretty good. Not too bothered about cloaking system. The other hacking stuff would be pretty good as well. Yeah. But yeah, no, a storage system like that would be pretty dope. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about? Talking about Richard. I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. You mean I can't pick that up? this way to the shop. Yeah, 
right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How may I be of service? So, uh, so... Keep those. Keep that. Be sure to tell all your friends. Yeah. That day. Cool. What's your pleasure, friend? Yeah, because I mean, he does sell d <coughs> damage upgrade. Can actually buy that, to be fair, and burst round system. See you soon. What is this damage upgrade? I'll do that on combat rifle for sure. That's not shotgun. Cool. Lovely, lovely stuff. All right, let's go do the side quest. Um, I was going to say I'm going to go till seven, but I might go just a bit after, maybe like more towards like half seven. Zeke! See you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk. But we'd be doing a, like a long stream of this tomorrow. To but I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah. So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on the gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, Bendejo. Bendejo. It's <laughs> paid. No, I'm not going to kill him for that. That's fine. Is that the end of that side quest then, or...? Yeah. I am. <clears throat> Off we go. I think 
there's one specific thing I remember about this game. And I this is I might remember it, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure when I first played this, I got really screwed over because there was something that happens in the story and you have to go to the limb store and deactivate something. But by doing so, in the next boss fight, you get really fucked up. But if you don't do it, you it doesn't affect you. But I can't remember what exactly it is, when or how. I just remember something like that, because I remember it being a thing. I remember that. Mm. Not going in that way. <laughs> Maybe we could go through the roof. Because there was a ladder over here, which might allow us to get over to it. How can I help you, Francis? Oh. You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery oh. of your security office? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that said. Ah, oh, this is so tempting. If I use the point to get the wall breaker, I can break through the wall. Ending it and shut it down. For you? No, oh, I'm not going to waste a point. Although I'm pretty sure as soon as they see me, they're going to start shooting at me. Yeah. To get to a better spot if I'm gonna do this. It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. Ah. 
The funny thing is, right, if he just was, like, a little bit not careful, one punch with his augmented arms would probably kill the man. Hmm. I don't actually know if you get more points for not killing them than you do killing them. Bunch of people outside. Yeah, again, it's another wall that looks like it could be broken. There's a few of them now popping up, which is... I mean, I get it, but it's kind of annoying, because I don't want to use... I don't want to use my skill point on it. Take your head out, come on. Oh, now you're crouching down. Getting all those headshots. Baba Booey. It's weird that they don't put like an indicator on your mini map of like all the dead people as well. Going for the kill makes it obviously a really loud noise. He's just chilling. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage 
situation and destroy He got up. <clears throat> I think we'll probably go until I finish like this mission up. So it was a good point to sort of wrap up. Oh, that's a bomb. I should probably save. <laughs> there is always save, but not as much as you would think. Alright, hack it. Alright. Not all my... Is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Oh, I got another one. See, so I definitely think we should probably get this. Uh, it's just, it's going to help. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yes, please. Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. What to know? Richard. You got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Okay. So it's just all... Oh. So I don't see it. Oh, now I can. Right, I didn't know whether I didn't let me do that a minute ago. That's fine. Right, so we'll sort of wrap it up there. So I want to go get some foods because I'm starving. But yeah, we should be able to jump back in with more of this tomorrow. So we get like a longer stream of it. And yeah, I'm excited to play some more because this is a really fun game.
I'm gonna put this up in here. Okay, so who is on? We can send some love to. Hmm. Give it a minute. Check this ad to play. I know who we're going to raid. I'm going to raid no one's. We, not often that we actually ever get to raid her. But she is on playing a game. And I would like to send a love over. Because I think she raided us when we were playing God of War. But yeah, no. She's playing Mail Time. Which I have never heard of before. So this will be interesting. So raid channels. Two. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the stream and your yeah. Thank you for keeping me company. Thank you again, Cassie, for the raid. Um, hopefully you all have a lovely rest of your afternoon. I will be back, like I said, tomorrow. Um, with more of this early starts, just like my usual sort of like maybe around ten in the morning. Um, movie nights is normal on Discord, and obviously if you haven't. There are the links. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> 8 a.m. Street Left's go. I'll be a, out for a walk at that time, so no. But no. Um, yeah. Hopefully you'll have a lovely rest of your afternoon and evening, and I will hopefully catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.